If you are living a child-free life, whether by choice or by circumstance, and heard Pope Francis's recent remarks about the child-free, I urge you to sit back for the next few minutes and watch this video, because I'm gonna break down why his remarks are so misleading, why his words were hurtful, and why you should absolutely not be allowing this type of criticism into your heart from him, from any other people, or any other religion. This video is not for the Catholic. This video Video is for our entire child free community. Hi friends, welcome to the Child Free Connection. If you're new here, this channel is for inspiration, support, celebration, and education of living child free. And this is exactly why today's video is so important. I'm Veronica, I'm 45 years old, and my partner Rick, who is 50, and I live a happy child free life here in Austin, Texas. Rick is behind the scenes handling the production and today, but he's very passionate about this topic as well. In addition to making content here on YouTube, we also spend a lot of time on our Instagram page so definitely follow us there if you haven't done so because we cover a bunch of child free topics there too. If joining our community is something that piques your interest please take a moment to like this video click the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you get notified each time we release new content. Rick and I just got home from an 18 hour dive from Florida where we were visiting my mom from the holidays so I did have some time to reflect on the Pope's comments and hold Hopefully, although I'm exhausted and confused, I can gather my thoughts today and present them to you with some level of clarity. Okay, first let me go back in time just a bit. I consider myself spiritual and have adopted teachings from several different religions, but I was raised Catholic. I went to Catholic school from first grade all the way through 12th grade. So I went to church on Sundays and I had religion class almost every day. In grade school, I got up on the lectern, which is the podium where you read from, and read during mass almost every single Sunday. There is a prayer that I loved, one that we recited in church, we sang, and one that is still used today by Catholics around the world, and ironically, it's called the Prayer of St. Francis. I'm going to get to that in a minute, so stick with me. So this has been all over media, but if you have not heard the details yet, Pope Francis recently and very clearly criticized that couples who choose to have pets instead of children are selfish, arguing that their decision to forego parenthood leads to a loss of humanity and is a detriment to civilization. For those of you who don't know, the Pope is considered the leader of the Roman Catholic Church, and when a Pope comes into leadership, he gets to choose his own name. This Pope we have now chose to be named after St. Francis of Assisi, who happens to be the patron saint of animals, because during St. Francis of Assisi's life, he had shown such a deep love and respect for all creatures. Have you ever felt pressured by religion or religious leaders to have children, or have you you been told that you're selfish for not wanting kids? Let us know in the comments below. Okay, so setting the irony of the name aside, I would like to use small excerpt from the prayer of St. Francis. This prayer is the one I read every Sunday for my entire childhood. The prayer that the Catholic Church uses daily to explain how we should lead our lives. I'm going to use the words that the Pope and the Church have given us to say over and over again, and I'm going to use those words to explain exactly why the comments that he made make zero sense. Okay, bear with me because this will all come together, I promise. The beginning of the prayer says, and I'm going to paraphrase a bit, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. So basically, the leader of the church is telling us to be instruments of peace, to shed light, to give joy and hope, but it's taking an entire slice of the population and saying, but this is only deserved for people who have children. The statement that child-free people are a loss of humanity falls under the giant umbrella of assumption. The assumption that having children is the better choice for all, and the assumption that all women can have children. What about the millions of people who have children and are not instruments of peace like the prayer says. 
people who have children because they feel they have to, who are forced to, or have them with absolutely no desire to take on the responsibility and become terrible or abusive parents. Are those parents rewarded with this love, light, and joy the prayer speaks of simply because they procreated? So what about the millions of people who are child-free by circumstance and cannot have children of their own and who are trying to heal and move towards joy? Adoption was the Pope's answer and it's usually the answer given by people who do not fully understand it. Yes, adoption can be beautiful for some, but it can also also be expensive, painful, and extremely difficult for some. Okay, so just a quick side note here, I'm fully aware of all the other marginalized groups that are not taken into consideration by the Catholic Church, but this video is about these specific remarks, so I'm focusing on only this point. Also, please share this video because although you may not be heard or confused about the Pope's comments, there are thousands of people out there who are hurting and need to hear some comforting words. The prayer of St. Francis goes on to say, God grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, and to be loved as to love. What this is saying is that we should focus on consoling, understanding, and loving others rather than focusing on having others console, understand, and love us. Saying that the child-free are a detriment to civilization goes against these very words. You are not consoling, understanding, or loving the child-free. You're actually doing the exact opposite. You are judging and pressuring them to do something that falls solely under your own belief system. You are doing the one thing that for me is a clear sign of poor leadership. You are leading with fear rather than with love. Leading with love means taking the time to empathize with people who choose alternative lifestyles than the ones you teach. Leading with love means not turning your back on the truth even when it goes against your own institution. Leading with love means understanding what is best for each and every one of us, not just a slice of the population. Leading with love means being grateful for people who are loving and dedicating their lives to their animals. On the other hand, leading with fear tells people that they are bad if they don't follow your rules, your ways, and puts everyone in the same box. So to all our child free friends, whether you are Catholic or any other religion that is preaching the same rhetoric, we are here to tell you, you are not bad. There is nothing bad about doing what's best for you, best for your body, and best for your soul. As the St. Francis prayer taught me when I was little, I strive to be an instrument of peace and no leader or institution can tell me otherwise. One of the main reasons that Rick and I started the Child Free Connection is because we are all so uniquely beautiful and different and we didn't believe that any of us should be forced into a parenthood box. We have the right to be who we are and we should all be celebrating our differences. Selfish is a word that is weaponized to make make people feel less than. But in actuality, it's the opposite. Be selfish, care for yourself, love for yourself, unapologetically continue to care for and love your pets, your plants, and whatever or whoever else you choose to love. We have one life, so choose to live it the way you want. And lastly, please remember that if you are child-free by choice or by circumstance, you are absolutely not alone. If you enjoyed hanging out with us today, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified next time we release new content. Also, I'm going to include these two videos here, which I think you will enjoy as well. We thank you, we appreciate you, and we'll see you next week.